Hello again, everybody. A couple months ago, I made a video explaining how to use mode shifting in Steam's big picture mode on their controller layout settings because I felt it was more intuitive than their normal picture mode controller layout settings. Steam has since updated the big picture mode controller layout to the normal mode and some people commented about this and were asking if I would make a tutorial on the new way of doing it because my workaround no longer works and now we are forced to use Steam's really, really bad normal controller layout settings. So first thing you want to do is when you when you click on your game, you'll see controller layout, click that button, and then you'll get a screen that looks like this. Next, go to edit layout. And in my original tutorial video, I showcased how to make the left joystick behave as the right joystick. I'm going to do that again. So what you first want to do is go to left joystick behavior, click this drop down bar, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says create a mode shift, click it. Uh, mode shift, you'll see a left joystick with parentheses mode shift will pop up right underneath left joystick behavior and make sure that's set to joystick since you want it to behave just like the left joystick, only you want it to be the right joystick. How do you make the left joystick behave as the right joystick? Well, now what you have to do is go into settings, go down to output joystick and where it says left joystick, hit that drop down, right joystick. There you go. Now it'll work. You also need to make sure that you have a mode shift button selected. This is important. Even if you're not doing mode shifting with a joystick on any mode shift you do, make sure you set the mode shift button to what you want the mode shift button to be. And you can do any button now. Um, but what I would definitely recommend is a bumper because to me that's just easiest. It's just something you can hold with your the fingers that aren't your thumbs and have control over changing what the inputs are gonna do. So I usually go with left bumper. Now you can back out of it and you'll see that not only do you have this, oh, one other thing. In order to make the left joystick truly behave, you like the right joystick, you also got to remember that the left click, it's blank right now, but you can make it right click by selecting that. And now when the left bumper is held, not only will the left joystick behave as the right joystick, but it will click as the right joystick too. Go over to buttons, this is where your bumpers are, and you will see now the mode shift left joystick is right under left bumper. But there's a bit of a problem. I did not really go over this in my last video, but I will in this one about how if the left bumper does something, it will do something in addition to mode shifting. So say the left bumper is guard, now you'll be guarding while you're using the mode shift button, and maybe you don't want that, you know? How do you get a workaround? Well, there's a couple different ways, but what I like to do is first change it to, uh, you can't change it that way, change it by going to settings and just hit remove command and that'll make it blanked out. Uh, you can't really delete command one, sometimes I've seen it just go away. You know, I've been working on this for a while, like messing with the settings of this, this layout. It's so bad to me, I don't like it, <laughs> but if, if there's a command there that says it's blank, it's blank. It's not going to do anything. Even though it says there's two commands, there's really only one. Go to right bumper. And what you want to do here, settings, add an extra command. Make it the left bumper. Now, you don't really want the right bumper and the left bumper to activate at the same time. So what do you do here? Go to settings. And instead of doing a regular press to trigger the left bumper, do a button cord. Button cords are like mode shifting, but they're specifically just one button instead of a set of buttons or an entire analog stick or something like that. Now that it's set, you see command two, button cord, left bumper, but that's not gonna mean it works right away. First, you have to go to settings again, then go to settings within settings, then you'll have a cord button option right there change the chord button to what you want the chord button to be. I recommend the same as your mode shift button. You know, there's no reason fixing what I broke. And there you go. Now, when your left bumper is held, the right bumper will also mode shift to be the left bumper, and you'll still have all your buttons. Another thing you can do if you want to create a mode shift on a button pad, same thing, create mode shift, there you go. Mode shift is now here. You can set all your buttons. I can make, you know, the A button now be the down button and the B button now be the right button and, you know, all this other stuff. Always make sure, though, when you go to settings, mode shift button, 
set it to your mode shift button. You can have more than one mode shift button, I imagine. I haven't actually tested that out, but I don't see why you couldn't since they're making it, you can change it every time. But I wouldn't recommend having more than one mode shift button because it can just be confusing. You might not remember what mode shifts what, so just keep it at the same button. Another thing I'd like to cover is how to delete mode shifts. It used to be really easy to delete mode shifts, now it's complicated. So here is the new way to delete mode shifts. You might think, oh, all I gotta do is click this and hit none. And you're right, now the mode shift doesn't do anything, but you'll look under bumpers and it still says it mode shifts A, B, X, and Y, even though it's not there. So you're like, well, I wanna clean this up, I wanna make that go away, I'm gonna hit settings and remove command. I said I was going to hit settings and remove command. I just hit settings and remove command. Oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, this is, you know, a glitch or something. I don't really get it. So the way to get rid of it is go back to your A, B, X, and Y where you tried to delete the mode shift, create it again, then go to settings, then go to mode shift, set that to none. Now back out of it. Now set this to none. And now it's gone. It'll be blank. And you can finally delete it. So I'm not a big fan of this change, but it happened. There's nothing I can do about it. I would not be surprised if Steam changes it again because of how many people might complain if that many people are using mode shifting and, and trying to figure it out. It is pretty difficult, you know? I wouldn't blame you for, for getting stuck trying to figure out how to do all this stuff because it's not easy. But the thing that frustrates me the most is these oddities and glitches it feels like they couldn't have made it harder to figure out if they tried i'm going to put up on the screen here this is footage from an earlier take when i was trying to record this video when i went to make the left joystick behave as a mode shift it didn't make the mode shift it just set the joystick behavior to mode shift which doesn't make any sense it like how did they how does this happen? And, and I couldn't do anything. I literally had to not only close out of the, the controller layout settings, I had to exit out of Steam and relaunch Steam. And then I could make this video for you all. So it's, it's tricky. It's definitely got a lot of bugs. I'm sure they'll try to work on it, you know, as, as more people complain about it. But um, this is how we're going to have to mode shift for the time being. And hopefully... Uh, this was helpful to you um, and you got what you needed. If you have any other questions uh, or if there's any other tutorials you all need made, let me know. Uh, th and thank you for watching.